Weather-wise, you know, yesterday was one of those days where here I am at work thinking, okay, today is going to be worse than yesterday. Uh -huh. But, you know, at the same time, coming this morning, and, and it's easy to say today is going to be better than yesterday. Oh, okay. Don't expect nearly as much rain around. Okay. The problem is we have parts of southern New Mexico that have seen five, six, seven inches of rain over the past about four days. So we've got a saturated soils mm -hmm. issue. So even though the rain isn't going to be as heavy, there will still probably be some isolated, at least, flooding issues just because we can't really take much more water. Yeah, it doesn't take much. Oh. Huh? Yeah. You know, before we get into that, first, some... Uh, uh, fall color photos. Want oh, to okay. share with you here, oh, James nice. Bunton from Durango. <laughs> yeah, you know we can start to see some patches of orange yeah. and yellow showing up on the mountainsides right there. Uh, take a look at this photo as well. You know they've had some clouds rolling around the uh, mountains oh, there, pretty. the San Juans, and yeah, already starting to see some snow okay. caps there. That's yeah, so great. here we are. This is the first full day of fall. It's nice to see the fall color, but you know what's coming yeah, right, right behind yeah, it. That's right. Old man winter eventually going to settle in. Flood watches continue here. Flash flood watches. Las Cruces, Alamogordo, uh, Artesia over towards Carlsbad. Probably just one more day here. Again, because we have the saturated soil deal, we have only light rain on the radar this morning. Notice just shades of green with a couple pixels of yellow. Uh, some showers right now through Rio Arriba County and a mass of rain working south out of Sierra County and breaking up as it approaches Las Cruces. Now, one thing to be aware of here as well, in Eddy County, right along the Pecos, we do have flood warnings. The Pecos River is at or above flood stage around Artesia, and then also around the Carlsbad area, down south into West Texas. Uh, stay away from the fast-moving water there on the rivers. Let's take a look at our computer model forecast. The morning showers wind down. There will be just a bit of a reflare up this afternoon, but the colors on our computer model stay mostly in those green shades, meaning the thunder showers that do develop should stay generally on the lighter side. We head into the overnight. Looks like skies will dry out nicely for just about everybody. Here's a computer model forecast of how much water we do expect. Uh, most of this blue bullseye here has already fallen in the past few hours. For the most part, we're only expecting a couple tenths to maybe a quarter of an inch or so, which still will be enough water to result in some flooding issues in spots of southern New Mexico where the soils are saturated. It's just going to be scattered showers and storms, but we still have some afternoon rain developing. Temperatures in the lower 80s for the most part from Roswell down to Carlsbad, and we'll have some scattered showers here across southwestern New Mexico. So Silver City in the mid 70s. Otherwise, we do expect low 80s. By the time we cross I 40 and head up towards northwestern New Mexico, that's where I think we can keep the skies all the way dry. Uh, low to mid 80s, Shiprock, Farmington, maybe a couple of continental divide showers popping up this afternoon, and a little bit of wet weather for the northern mountains. Uh, you meet that instability criteria quite easily across the higher terrain. Mid and upper 70s, Los Alamos, Santa Fe, Taos, probably good for low 80s in the Espanola Valley. Mostly dry skies around Raton and Vegas. Highs right around 80 degrees today. And we'll be well into the 70s around Moriarty and Edgewood. Maybe just one little spit of rain. For the Albuquerque metro, probably going to stay dry today. Low to mid 80s on the afternoon thermometer means our afternoon high temperatures are going to be about five above average for this first day of fall. Pretty good looking stretch here for the next few. Probably going to stay dry through Thursday, but then by Friday and into the upcoming weekend, those chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms look to make a return. Well, it has been nothing but rain 